Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to my guide for unlocking all the safe house puzzles in Black Ops 6. As you can see once you talk to Mason he'll bring you over to the acquisition desk and you can see that here you can unlock the weapon station, training station and all that area. First we are going to unlock all the puzzles to get some extra cash for that and for that we are going to come over here for the to the boiler room. There is some text here which gives us the hint that okay this boiler is providing power to a uh, hidden area of this safe house or this bunker which we don't have access to and there is another part piece of text here that I am going to check. Now before I go and unlock the spoiler puzzle I am actually going to run back and show you where the backlight is. The backlight is very important for unlocking all the puzzles in this safe house and getting to the safe and actually unlocking the trophy. So first things first come back out here and you have to run all the way to the right of the training area or the area where you were talking to Mason and pick up this backlight. This backlight is not needed for the boiler puzzle but it is needed for almost all the other puzzles. So come down here, here I am just going to see if shining the backlight on this does anything but it is useless. So for this puzzle pretty easy, pretty straightforward. what you have to do is the ball in the middle you have to turn it twice once first I mean you have to turn it twice first there you go then you have to put in the fuel once once that is done you come over here and put the pilot and if you have done it right you will hear a little ting and you can see that light on the left side of this machine will be green so now you just have to press the valve twice like turn this valve twice again once it's done you turn it twice and you will end up hearing two tings now that means the boiler puzzle is done and now we can move over to the piano puzzle and for the piano puzzle we are actually going to be using the backlight which I am going to show you in a second right now. So when you come over to the piano and shine your backlight to the walls around it you can actually see where all the codes are that you are looking for for or like all the key codes are if you just move your backlight there you see there is number one and there are arrows next to it so just follow these arrows and you can check the other way like see there is number 4 that is AO I believe this is MN you turn here this is 2 this is PE then you follow this direction up there and there is 3 which is CH and again going up over here somewhere is the 4th one yeah the 4th one is here AO and the 5th one is here again PE so you come back to the piano see this is the whole code you can see 1 2 3 uh, the 1 is all right over piano 4 and then 5 over here so come over to the piano and now you can see you can move uh, select the keys with the d-pad left or right and with the right analog stick you can move your cursor like uh, your backlight to see which one you have to press so press MN PE CH and then AO and then PE and this will open your door and this will unlock the basement door the entry to the basement uh, like the proper hidden basement and when you come over here this door will be and is the one we unlock with the boiler puzzle so after that we travel inside I am just looking around to go here where to go and what to do because this is my first time entering this place so I am just checking if in case there is something I can pick up and here we come over to the keypad puzzle open this text it tells us something about the keypad don't worry about it once you start interact with this the small tutorial will play out so what it does is you have to shine your backlight on these keys and then enter the numbers and input them in the code once you press enter in the code you can check if you have done it right or wrong so here I am going to shine my backlight on these keys I am going to turn it on and you can see that it is uh, it's on 1, it's on 6, it's on 7, it's on 9 and it's on 3 I believe as well up there. So first code I'm going to try is 111 5 times because I think it's on 1 the strongest but unfortunately it's not going to work out that for me and it's just 1 in 1 position. So the green means that is the correct position for this number. So after this I'm going to try number 6 because that is the another one which was the brightest and 6 will actually work out for me much better than expected I think I'll get 2 places or 3 places for 6 I know 1 is there in the correct position so there you go I have 3 digits correct now now there are just 2 more digits for me to work on and there is 7, 9 and I believe 3 uh, 3 is the weakest so I decide to go with 7 and 9 
so here you see i actually went with just nine i believe for this one because i know the six position is correct oh yeah i went with three and i see that nine is the right number but it's in the wrong position because it is yellow so you can see that nine is right so the place where i put three then nine will go and then the next place left that is for seven so now i think i'm gonna get my complete code which is seven one six nine Nine one six nine six, and this is going to open this door first. So there you see, it. This number is totally randomized for everyone. It will be randomized for you as well. So when you shine your backlight on it, just make sure to check uh, thoroughly, like where this backlight goes and what it does, like which one is shining the most. So come over here now. We are going to do the computer puzzle. The computer puzzle actually very easy. There are just four words that you have to worry about. Uh, like that you have to input they are open room holding and bunker and their order can be randomized but it will always be the same four words for me i went with uh, like you can see this uh, dash these digits this come there will be a dash where you have to enter the word and it will be you will you can guess by the number of characters you need to open so here i am going to enter open because it is four digits so i am going to go with open and the one next one will be a bit longer so that will be holding i believe and a bit shorter than that will be bunker and then room so this one worked out perfectly for me in the first try but for you it might be a bit randomized so see open worked now it is more digits so this is definitely holding so i am going to put holding here this is me you will see me moving the cursing around that is me just counting the number of digits but now i am just going to press holding then uh, the next one is going to be bunker and then the next one is going to be room for you the order can be randomized but it will always be the same words open room holding and bunker that is all you need to worry about here people i really hope this helps you guys out and i did not want to do just a video guide without any voice or add some text or anything i wanted to properly explain so you know while i am doing this can actually tell you what can go wrong what cannot go wrong so this is something which can be randomized a bit but that's it that's all you need to worry about now with this puzzle done we can move on ahead from here and we come over here here i'm going in the wrong direction i'm going to the radio signal i do not have the key for this one yet i have to pick the key for it so i'm going to turn around and go the other way this door has just opened up and then the door next to it this one as you can see because we did the computer puzzle this door open up over here we take a text which says this guy swallowed the key so you have to get it out of him any which way we can this simple lock pick puzzle just rotate your right hand lock stick till the you know lock picks at one spot and then rotate it again for the next one so here you see it will start vibrating and this is one done then again you have to find the sweet spot for the second and the sweet spot for the third this is simple this is nothing that i think you have to worry about at all so that's it lock open and now the key will come i mean we can grab the key key is not going to come to us that's silly of me but yeah there is you can grab the key i am just running around in this dark room i don't know i had my i had some hopes of that i will find some cash here but don't suppose i am going to right so with that said now we can actually go to the room where we saw that radio signal come from and there we have to tune the radio now this radio puzzle actually is uh very 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 randomized then so, there are a lot of objects in this room and you shine your backlight on them if you shine your backlight on the stuff you can see a lot of numbers on them you have to listen very carefully to the message that is being played and check for the objects that are being t uh, that the guy is talking about in that message so, there will be four objects he'll be talking about and the order he is going to talk about will be the order of the digits you need if you can find two uh digits like in the right order correctly here i'm just going to tune the radio it's going to show a small tutorial for you how to tune the radio it's very simple just move the right hand lock stick and the left hand lock stick in the in different directions till you can match the frequency which is playing behind you have done this pretty much uh, plenty of times i have done i remember doing this in resident evil as well and i think you have done this in previous call of duty as well so you see this is going to play the message listen to your message clearly it's going to be it is randomized so it's not going to be the same message for you so just make sure to listen to all the objects he's talking about now this alvin switched off the lamp by the broom closet is one 
and the TV is three, and the broom is eight. Okay, so one, eight, TV is three, and then this is six. The lamp is one, broom is eight. Whatever object it is saying, you have to get the number for this one, eight, three, and six. I believe one and three six is my code, so this is what I'm going to go and try on my safe. And for the safe, you have to come all the way up here. Oh, sorry, you have to come all the way up here. Go through here on the right, and then go up the stairs. Go all the way up. Come over here. Come over here, and then come over here and take this room to the right. And now I'm going to go unlock it. I'm going to press one, eight, three, and six, and it opened the safe for me. And there is your puzzles mission trophy, people. And we can pick up thousand cash, and we got cash cracker unlocked. So with that, I am going to go and upgrade my safe house a bit. And that will be the end of this part of the stream. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please do remember to like, share, and subscribe. Do share your feedback in the comment section as well. In the next part, I am going to be coming to you with the next chapter. And as always, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, please stay safe, stay healthy, and stay busy playing some good games, people. Please be sure to share this among your friends as well. I hope I am helping you guys out.